His sacrifice is very important. Let's go to Psalms 141. Could, could I help y'all out? Yes. Psalms 141. I, I couldn't quit on this one. I know he raised the sign that says, time to bring it in. So, <laughs> Psalms 141 and 2. Psalms 141 and 2. This is going to blow your socks off. Y'all ready? Yeah. I know the evening sacrifice is actually a sacrifice in the morning, a sacrifice in the evening. It was probably lambs. You know, and then we could talk on a ecclesiastical level. You know, Jesus was the morning sacrifice, and there's the evening sacrifice to church. We can talk about that another day, but look at it on a simple, practical level. Uh, uh, Psalms 141 and 2 says, go ahead. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. It's the same. What now? The who? <coughs> as the evening sacrifice. The lifting up of who? Of my hands. The lifting up of who? My hands. My hands is what? The evening, evening sacrifice. sacrifice. Go to First Timothy. <laughs> Y'all know what that says in the New Testament. Ain't it? So the lifting up the hands is what? The evening sacrifice. Prophetically, lifting up the hands is what? All right, y'all hold on to that. First Timothy 2 and 8. Go ahead. I will therefore, I will therefore that men pray everywhere. So, oh, so he, he said prayer in Psalms 141 is, is connected to incense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paul taking it up under the new administration. He said, I will said therefore that I, I will therefore that men pray everywhere. So he's taking up the incense again. Y'all got it? Look at this. Go ahead. Lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubt. That's the evening sacrifice. Amen. When you can lift up your hands without wrath and doubt. Oh, Boy, I don't know about that. Y'all need me to break it down some more? We got churches that come in mad and ugly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we're breaking the evening sacrifice. Yeah. 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 So when we come in the house of God excited. Yeah. Without doubt, and believing God is going to do exactly what he said. That woman is an epitome of an evening sacrifice. She don't come in with wrath. She don't come in with doubt. And she, I ain't saying she don't doubt, but when we get in the house of God, he would that every man everywhere would pray with their holy hands lifted up without wrath or doubt. It can mean also without fighting, without binding the devil, without, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. You mean when I come in the house of God, and we said it on Sunday, I got my hands lifted up to God. It's a sign of surrender. It's something with palms, when God enjoys palms. Because in Isaiah said, I'm hitting you in the palms of my hand. It's something about it. It's a sacrifice. When you come into the house of God without wrath, without trying to see how you're going to make it a hard day on your pastor, or how you're going to go home and cause hell at your house. You come into the house of God without wrath and doubt. Amen. Huh? You come in the house and say, you know what, whatever apostles say, I'm going to do it. Amen. If you say so X amount of dollars, I will. Because I'm not down. Because I got to even sacrifice. My hands without wrath or down. And I don't understand it. I'm not going to get mad at it. But I'm coming without wrath and down. I'm telling you, some of us have unclean hands. He said, who's all going to send it to the hill of the Lord? Those that have clean hands. And a pure heart. Why the priest says I got to go? But I'm telling you, I'm serious. He said, draw near to me, even in James, with a pure heart and clean hands. That's what David couldn't feel. He had blood. He had wrath and doubting in his hands. Couldn't feel. What do we get the people here and say, you know, I ain't mad at an apostle. He, he gave me the instructions that meant for my life. So I can be an even a sacrifice. So I can be an incense to the Lord. So I can be a sweet savior to the Lord. So I can be a fragrance to the Lord. I'm not going to come in and get mad because I won't spend time during the week to learn this stuff. We only on number five. So we come in wrath and doubting. We won't pick the phone up and call nobody else. It might be a little further than us. But we'd rather come into the house of God with doubt. Or with wrath because we're mad because we can't get it. And we've been blessed with a social network full of an inbox. Apostle, what you mean? Prophet, what you mean by such and such? We want us to be on the same page. We don't want to come into the house of God with the incense that God has given this house. The incense was the only instrument that went beyond the veil. I'm telling you, you want to get beyond the veil? Have clean hands. 
without wrath and doubt. Every time we come, I know I'm speaking. Every time we come into the house of God, we our hands are clean. In the sign of surrender, without wrath and doubting. We're beyond the veil, beyond limitation. What if I get? I'm gonna do a preach. I'm gonna preach on this. So y'all can get it in your spirit. If you can hear it by the spirit of God, I don't have to. Yeah. He's bringing clarity to it right now. Yeah. Your attitude in the house of God will determine the fruit and the harvest you reap from the house of God. Some of us get mad at God with wrath because we want something that God said you ain't ready for. So we come in the house of God stomping and mad. You know how many times I've literally seen people sit out mad? Like today, two or three times I minister, I can see on your face, wrath. That don't make me mad because you got to deal with the issues. I go home with my wife, my house is full of shalom. Most of my time is up. It's peace. Pieces and cream, baby. Ain't that right, dude? Pieces and cream. But my soul still hurts for you. Amen. Because you don't know the day of your visitation. And you're making everything personal. And it's an invite from the throne. That you can leave that place you've been. And come up higher in him. That's what gets me as a leader. I look at you, I say there's more. And you say, I don't want it. That ain't mine. Move out of the way. I step on you, Apostle. <laughs> Get close, I'll bite you. <laughs> In my heart, I'm like, man, don't you understand? Yeah. All of us started someplace like you. All of y'all in here, there was a place that I had in me before. As bad as it may be, but I decided that I wasn't going to stay there. Yeah. Yeah. You can decide tonight that you're not going to stay there. Father, we just bless you tonight. We thank you for this word. Amen.